I want to open by saying that I believe our leaders are failing us in catastrophic ways. And I think it's time that we have to look to ourselves for the leadership that we need. We need a future based firmly in solidarity. And we're failing in our duty as citizens, as professionals, and most importantly, as ancestors. Now in business, we know that we require a certain amount of continuity. And with the unfolding of extreme weather events, we know that this won't be possible in the future. And in the fashion industry, we also know that our roots are in colonialism. Our roots are in slavery, barbarism, people being vandalized, killed, ecosystems being destroyed to create our fashion systems. When you take in the reality of our situation, for me at least, it brings a certain amount of grief and I find that can transform you. We've encouraged ourselves in XR to let go of denial, to let go of false hope and prepare ourselves to support change. The purpose of this uh, summit, I'd like to start by just scrutinising the language and I'd suggest that we need to define values because we all have values, lots of them, and I think our best human values require us to disobey a system which is firmly set on self-destruct. What's on the other side of that decision is probably quite a lot of difficult feelings. That sense of having changed your mind, not being sure that you were right before, feeling your awareness growing, feeling yourself complicit in creating the situation that we're in now. We are watching life exterminated by greed all over the planet. And as a designer, I think one of the most heartbreaking features of this situation is that it reflects to me a very vast failure of the imagination, a lack of creativity and also an arrogance that we think we can push our living systems on the planet to the precise point of breaking beyond return, future generations will never, ever forgive us for it. So Extinction Rebellion has been set up to encourage people to peacefully break the law. And for me, you find the courage and the tender-hearted bravery that that requires by facing the truth facing up to the humility that we don't know all the answers. To be real, I do think it's clear that some rich people, some rich countries and some rich businesses quite simply need to help to pay to change the direction that we're heading in. And some powerful people probably just need to step out of the way and allow change to happen. And I also wanna say in the fashion context that I don't think circularity is nearly enough. We've devastated the living world already and we need to aim for regeneration. So I invite you all to get ready to let go. To think about how you can move forwards taking none of this personally. Because Extinction Rebellion and other campaigners are not going to give up until the risk to life on earth and our human family is reduced with every day and week and month that goes by. And we believe in showing values in XR. Deeds, not words. We know that empathy is a pragmatic necessity for the very survival of our species. And for that, we need to repair ourselves. We need to repair our relationships. We need to repair our systems. And we need to be ready to engage in transformation. We're so very nearly out of time. So I just ask you all to think about how you're going to feel in 10 years time. And will you look back at this time and think that you really did everything that you possibly could to rise up to the challenge that's before us in 2020?